some of those skill sets, Mm -hmm. you can talk about that too. The skill sets that you were taught in the military that you were told either would apply or would not apply when you jumped the fence and landed in the civilian side. Are there particular elements of who you are today that were unpredictable or unknown to you until you actually got here? Um, You know, I think they, all of it is kind of like, I think that when you transfer into like civilian world, and especially when you're going to take that leap and, and say, you know what, I'm pushing my chips all in, I'm going for this and I'm not going to go get it, get a job. You know, Um, I think there's all these things that, you know, are inherently inside of you, like the decisiveness and this kind of, you know, focus on the mission, like no matter what, I'm going to make sure this happens. There's so many things like that, that kind of go into um, starting a business. And so Mm -hmm. those just happen. But I think the part about um, people when, when it comes to like encouraging you to get out and go and take that leap, I realized recently, and it was after talking to a sergeant that the people around you in the military, it's not that they're not encouraging you to take the leap. They just have never, the people you're with have never transitioned. So they just don't know how or what to say to encourage you, you know, or the government service or, you know, they could be transitioned veterans that went into government service jobs. And those people don't really have an idea to say, yeah, you should take the leap and start a business, you know, so you just don't have anywhere to go. And I think talking to other entrepreneurs, um, podcasts like this, just trying to be inspired by people that said, you know what, I'm betting on myself no matter what, um, is so powerful because for veterans, we just don't have a place to go. 